a very good morning to all of you dear students today we are just going to discuss last topic vacuole it is the last cell organelle which we are going to discuss vacuoles are called store house of cell vacuoles are the organelle that store water and waste it is much like a water tower that store water for a city dear students vacuoles are storage sac in plant and animal cell they are not found in bacterial cell in addition to storing water let's discuss vacuole in plant cell and animal cell here you can see in plant cell a large central vacuole is present in only one vacuole is there which push the nucleus to peripheral position it is used to store water push against cell wall keep the cell plant rigid but on the other side animal cell a several small vacuoles are there used for storage and contain nutrients water or waste vacuoles are not found in bacterial cell and some single cell protista have vacuole which is called contractile vacuole which open and close to regulate the amount of water inside the protista take in a look at contractile vacuole vacuoles are storage sac for solid or liquid contents in animal cell size of vacuole is small while plant cell have very large vacuole present the center center vacuole of some plant cell may occupy 50 to 90% of cell volume in plant cell vacuoles are full of cell sap provide rigidity rigidity or to the cells many important substances for life are stored in vacuoles these include the amino acids sugars various organic acids and some proteins In single cell organism like amoeba food vacuole contain food items that amoeba has consumed in some unicellular organism specialized vacuole important role in expelling excess water some waste from cell dear students and now i'm just going to tell you about cell division okay where do cells come from sometime you accidentally bite your lip or skin you need but in a matter of days the wound heal is it magic or is there any other explanation every day every hour every second one of the most important events in life is going on in your body cells are dividing when cells divide they make a new cell a single cell divides to make a two cells and these two cells then divide to make a four cells and so on we call this process cell division cell reproduction because new cells are formed when old cells divide the ability of cells to divide is unique for all living organism now why do cell divide what is the reason of division cell divide for a many reason for example when your skin your knee cell divide to replace old dead damaged cells cells also divide so living things can grow when organisms grow it is not because cells are getting larger organism will grow because cells are dividing to produce more and more cells in human body nearly 2 trillion cells divide every day now how many cells are there in your body you and i begin as single cell or what you would call an egg by the time you are an adult you have a trillions of cells that number depends upon the size of the person but biologists put that number around 37 trillion now how do cells know when to divide in cell division cell that is dividing is called parent cell parent cell divide into two daughter cells process then repeat and what is called cell cycle now 
depending upon the type of cell there are two ways the cell divide mitosis meiosis each of these methods of cell division has special characteristics let's discuss so there are two ways the cell divides mitosis meiosis one of the key difference in mitosis is a single cell divided into two cells that are replicas of each other having same number of chromosome this type of cell division is good for growth repair maintenance in meiosis a cell divide into four cell that have the half the number of chromosome reducing the number of chromosome by half is important for sexual reproduction and provide for genetic diversity mitotic cell division <coughs> is a somatic or non reproductive cell divide somatic cells make up most of your body tissues organs skin muscles lungs gut hair cell and reproductive cells like egg are not somatic cell in mitosis important thing to remember is that daughter cells each have the chromosome and dna as the parent cell daughter cells from mitosis are called the clot cells having complete set of chromosome number daughter cells having the exact copy of their parent dna no genetic diversity is created through mitosis in normal healthy cell no next is meiosis meiosis is another way the cell divide it is the cell division that creates sex cells like female egg cell male sperm cell so what is important to remember about meiosis in meiosis each new cell contain unique set of genetic information after meiosis sperm and egg cells try to create a new organism and meiosis is why we have genetic diversity in all sexually reproductive organism during meiosis small portion of each chromosome break off reattach to another chromosome next is difference between plant and animal cell we have discussed all the cell organelle now we have to do differences that it is a very important part of a chapter here you can see in plant cell cell wall is present made up of cellulose but on the other hand it is absent in animal cell plant cell is rectangular has a fixed shape animal cell is round and irregular shape plant cell a large central vacuole taking up 90% of cell volume filled with water fluid but on the other side animal cell has a small vacuole much smaller than plant cell plant cell have a chloroplast because they have just, they are just capable to make their own food animal cells don't have chloroplast plastids are present in plant cell but it is absent in animal cell lysosome usually not evident in plant cell but it occur in the cytoplasm of the animal cell now let's do some similarity between plant cell and animal cell in plant cell endoplasmic reticulum is present in animal cell it is also present ribosomes are present in both plant and animal cell mitochondria is also present nucleus is present at the peripheral of cell in plant in in animal it is present at the center golgi platelets is also present in plant cell in the form of dictosome golgi platelets is also present in animal cell cytoplasm is not as dense as in animal cell but it is present in plant cell cytoplasm is present and dense in animal cell now let's learn how to draw the structure of plant and animal cell and it is very important for pharma questions 